So, uh, here I am, uh, just about to quickly run through something that I've learned in the last few days, which is blowing my mind. Um, started with this a couple of days ago. Very quick backstory. Um, I'm trying to write a book. Uh, I've got a couple of weeks off work and I'm trying to write a book. Uh, I was going to set it 200 years in the future. Uh, and there's a little, I'm a nerd, I was writing for nerds, so it was a little kind of, hey, here you go. Uh, I was basically just trying to solve all of the conspiracies out there. All the little theories, all the things that people, I just wanted to put a little nod into, um, into my book for each one of these things. Just, you know, I, I was just, I thought that would be a cool idea. Um, so I was checking them off. I thought I was doing great. Uh, uh, Alien encounters, UFOs, crop circles, 9-11, uh, uh, the Apollo conspiracy, the Holocaust, all of these things. I was, you know, like, just watching YouTube, you know, so many people have helped me to put all this together and do all the things. But, um, but I was ticking them off one by one. And then, uh, there was, that was Wednesday, uh, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, and, um, I was procrastinating, as a writer does. I couldn't be bothered. I was lying on the couch, uh, delving the bottom of conspiracy theories. And then, bam, there was this flat earth video. Click, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm sure we've all been there. Brain explosion. <laughs> Mind explosion. What? What? This thing that we've known all of our lives just kind of what? Anyway, um, so for the last couple of days, I've been nothing but looking at it. And it, it, first thing, first thing I want to point out just before straight away I get to my thing, um, this stuff. Uh, it looks like we haven't had. Uh, I say we almost straight away. I feel like I'm amongst you all. I don't know if we need a mathematician. We need someone to revise all of these uh, rules in this uh, esoteric uh, astronomy guide thing because it seems like no one has done this and people are using these calculations to divide, uh, define drops and how light and what should be happening and all this stuff. Whereas it clearly, clearly reads, page 16, where it was, um, something, uh, 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 that we shall afterwards see how this correction may be avoided altogether, the distance C deduced from the differences, surface of the earth, oh there, uh, it is exceedingly small compared with 2A, uh, D, we may safely neglect C. Maybe back in the day, neglecting C was a easy thing to do, saved on paper, lots of zeros, whatever. We've got computers, obviously, these days that can do these calculations. It, it, it always seemed weird straight away that people were using calculations based upon squares to calculate what is obviously a sphere or a circle or whatever. Um, uh, trigonometry clearly needs to be involved. Somewhere in these equations needs to be a sign, a cos, or a tan, or else I don't believe any of this stuff. Anyway, moving on, that's not my point. My point is, um, uh, let's just go, bam, straight to, say, uh, Apollo 11. Now, wouldn't it be an awesome truth, an awesome proof for me, to prove to me, that if we strapped a hundred GoPros to a rocket and fired it straight at the Apollo 11 landing site, and every one of these hundred GoPros had a different connection to a different group, a different organization that they had dudes on around the clock watching. And we actually watched from the beginning to the end, from the launching off the platform, there were people watching. I'm sure there were people that would make the whole thing. They'd do it for three days, just up and staring at that monitor. Um, to see what happened as soon as this missile thing, the 100 recorders, got to that point. Either we'd see it, and we'd be done, or we wouldn't, and the world would open up again. Either way, uh, that's kind of what it feels to be, is 
that needs to be the proof. Turns out, for this stuff, they've done that. Um, these guys just strapped a GoPro to a, to a weather balloon and just sent it. Just sent it. Seems that, seems kind of dangerous. You know, how do you know there wasn't a flight up there? I'm, I'm hoping, I'm gonna go on the optimistic side and they all calculated all their trajectories and things and this wasn't gonna hurt anyone. Um, good. But, but they've done it. They've done exactly the thing. They've sent GoPros into space. Let's just have a look at this one quickly. Maybe it'll do it. Maybe it uh, won't. Yeah, there's a little bit of a smile. See a little bit of a corner smile? And the, uh, there it is. There's a, there's a big smile. Smiling. So it goes from obviously a uh, convex earth uh, to a flat and then and then a little smile. Um, uh, not just him. These guys done the same thing. Smiling, frowning. Frowning, frowning. Smiling. <laughs> done the same thing. Heaps of guys have done this thing. Oh, frowning, flat, frowning, flat, almost a smile, frowning, um, I don't know, maybe this wasn't a great one. Oh, but this is obviously great. See, it's funny, at the end of these videos, when this thing, the balloon pops and it falls, it's, it's amazing. Because it's just wanging around, left or right, wanging around, picking up the smiles, the frowns, smiles, the frowns. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Um, another video, um, same thing. We're just looking at smiles, looking at smiles, 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 toy robot space. Oh, it's just falling again. Obviously, smiles, 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 smiles. And then lastly, I've just had this one here, this Beautiful one that was there during an eclipse, and so there's this beautiful, weird, double, freaky smiles and things going on, and it, it, it's 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 kind of out there and beautiful smile, flat. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that dip, weird dip. Beautiful. Anyway, point is, is that if now we cut to my cool-looking uh, GoPro here in the corner next to this world blurb that I just bought there with my cool light wanging over the top of it, um, you can very, 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 very simply see that there's no way on a curved, curved object that no matter what the angle of the GoPro, there's no way that it can ever smile, right? There's no way that angle up, angle down. Sure, it's a fisheye lens. The bottom half wants to warp it that way. The top half wants to warp it that way. We get that. But these things are supposed to focus kind of like to infinity, right? And so, in some respect, we on, on even this small scale kind of thing, we must be able to see. Only frowns, only frowns, no matter what the angle, the shape stays the same, no matter the angle. And just to look, here is uh, the top of my TV there, top of my TV, uh, obviously that's the bottom half of the fisheye, it's doing that thing, it's smiling, and then if I tilt it and we go to the top half of the fisheye, <laughs> that look cool, didn't that look cool? Definitely, um, definitely frowning. Frowning, smiling, frowning, and smiling. And this is obviously flat. So, absolute bottom line, the Earth is not a sphere.